So what is a worldview? There's a lot of talk about worldview. We've seen a lot of studies done that show that people with a Christian worldview are more likely to live the way that Jesus lived. But how do we actually define what a worldview is? Now, one way to think about a worldview is just to look at three components that every worldview has. You see, in a sense, a worldview is just a story. It's a story about reality. And every story has at least three components, an origin, a predicament or the problem, and a resolution or a solution to it. So there's the beginning, there's the problem, and there's how you fix it. Every story has those components. So take secular humanism. The origin story is some kind of big bang, something from nothing, all of life through this blind evolutionary process. That's the origin story. The problem is something like religion, which has brought bigotry, it's been anti-science, and it's harmed the world in some capacity. The solution is to get a world without religion. Take Buddhism. According to Buddhism, the origin story is we actually have been here eternally. There is no beginning. The problem with the world is that we suffer, and we suffer because we have desires. The solution is to follow the eightfold path and get rid of our desires. Every worldview has those three components. Now, the Christian worldview says, in the beginning, God made us in his image. We are created by a personal God. The problem is sin. We've said to God, nope, I don't want it your way. I'm going to do it my way. And the solution comes through believing in Jesus Christ, the one who paid for our sins. So what is a worldview? It's simply a story about reality that has three parts. It has an origin, it has a predicament, and it has a resolution. And the question is, which story, which worldview is actually true?